Well, you've been keeping Keep busy moving. as we were talking with yeah. Ozzy. So yeah. you were talking about how this had a band feel. Now, yeah. how did Slash come to be involved? Because obviously Duff from Guns N' Roses is involved. Then you they know in. each other. Yeah, I could see that. <laughs> but like, how did he? Obviously, you you, ha- you had the you had his phone number, obviously. But how did he come to be on this project? Well, as I was saying before, the, the just like having Ozzy and and having him do new music and anyone that we mentioned to like well what you, oh, we're making music for Ozzy everyone wants in mm-hmm. this and, could have been like Santana's Supernatural but with Ozzy could have been an all a real all star thing if you'd want yeah, if you'd wanted to go that route anyone we spoke to and so we were we were we were we were we wanted it to be the right people we didn't want to like get yeah, just throw in you, you know names for names or whatever people that love Ozzy which is mm-hmm. pretty much everybody anyway but like that made sense and Slash plays in lots of people's records, and we just felt this. There was a song, a single that's out now called "Straight to Hell," and he sold at the end of that classic Slash wah wah bluesy, great. And but really, we wanted him to play on this song that is the title song, which is called "Ordinary Man," mm-hmm. and it's more mid tempo. We kind of Beatles. Ozzy loves the Beatles. Uh huh. That's favorite. This is his favorite band. Ball deals go on and on about the Beatles, 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 Beatles. And, you know, you would think, you know, the Prince of Darkness, maybe, you know, the Beatles, really? Okay. Well, you could see him maybe liking, like, Helter Skelter or Come Together, but no, not, like, li- the poppier Beatles. No, he, the Eleanor Rigby's and the Yesterday, like, you name oh, it. Awesome. Yeah, oh, no, no, he loves melody. He loves melody. So he's like, so. he yeah, so he's like, you know, we need something, you know, mid-tempo, not so, you know, heavy or whatever. So, okay, so... um Andrew had this little piano idea thing and, and we made it into this song and it's epic. And Slash plays the solo. There's two, it's so epic. There's two Slash solos. That sounds like very, I mean, Guns N' Roses, it's like Paradise no, City, it's, November Rain. It's November Rain. Yeah. It's just, oh, awesome. It's, it's November Rain ish, but not. But and it's, mm-hmm. it's, a, it's a really good song and he plays beautifully on it and we're so happy to have him on it. And then. We decided, well, it has the piano. Why don't, who plays, who's a really good piano player? I don't know. Hmm, maybe someone who had a Golden Globe nominated film about him that came out? Let's get the Rocket Man. Do you know, El- yeah, we know Elton. They know everybody and all the English royalty, rock royalty. And so Andrew and I went down to Atlanta where, where Elton John lives when he's on the East Coast. I think he's kind of all over the place. But, and we, record him and he played the piano on a song and he plays it beautifully of course and then we're like why don't we have him like sing a verse wait elton sings on it too i knew i saw that sharon osborne announced on her tv show that elton was involved but oh, i hadn't yeah. seen the clip so i didn't know the extent. maybe i'm gonna get in trouble again keep going keep going he sings on it loose lips smith <laughs> <laughs> he sings on it it's like a duet it's fucking awesome it sounds awesome fucking awesome well, comes it, in on us and they're singing Lindsay. they're singing these two iconic legendary english fucking rockers that have been through it all mm-hmm. are singing about the end of their lives i don't oh, want to wow. die an ordinary man and like and, they're talk- and it's man. fucking great were you sobbing in the studio <laughs> i was like fuck it out <laughs> me and andrew are pinching or somewhere like Sounds good. Yeah, keep, try, do another one if you want. <laughs> it was awesome. That's so and Alton cool. was so great, mm-hmm. so gracious. Well, I'll do anything for Ozzy. I love Ozzy. Ozzy and Sharon were FaceTime and talking shit to each other. It was great. Alan, and so you've got, on this Ordinary Man song, you've got um, Duff McKagan mm-hmm. slash mm-hmm. Guns N' Roses. Yep. Heard of them? Yep. They're pretty. Yep. They're going to be big. Stick with it. They'll be big. Mm-hmm. Um, Andrew Watt, Wonder Boy producer, you know, writer, hot shit guy of the moment, great musician. You've got the Prince of Darkness, Ozzy Osbourne. You've got and- Sir Elton John and a guy from a drummer from some other band. And the you host have- of Volume West. And the host of Volume West. Yes, <laughs> and you get the fucking Avengers of rock and roll. That's insane. It's so fucking good. And at the end of the song, every time I hear it, and there's this string thing at the end and we went to Abbey Road and did strings and choir. It's fucking epic. And wow. the, every time I hear it, the song ends, I'm like, and the Grammy goes too? Yes. I think that is going to happen. We're going to play next year. And it's going to be the Avengers. We're going to wear the costumes. 
and Elton and playing a piano, fucking Ozzy sitting next to him. They're going to be singing about the end. It's, it's, it's really great. So it's like, I'm so happy for him. 